After our hike to Vernal Falls, we ate a much needed meal around the campfire, and our steaks could not have been better. During this time of year, there was an open fire curfew from 5 to 10 o'clock at night. We woke up to a crisp, cool valley, and even though we were leaving the park the same day, I really wanted to get one good hike in. I was looking forward to a hike that would take around 5 to 6 hours, so we chose the Upper Yosemite Falls hike. On the website, it states that the hike can be completed on average in about 6 to 7 hours. The hike begins in a valley surrounded by pristine woodlands, where we immediately experienced a number of switchbacks. Immediately, I knew from this that the trail would be a continued climb. Obviously, in this area, we weren't rewarded with any views due to the trees, but this area is pleasantly filled with a pine aroma. We're about 30 minutes in. That's the view behind us right now, but it's pretty strenuous. Busted up my knee last night and it's making this hike more harder making it harder than i think it should be okay so the night before i slipped and bruised my knee so i was being extra careful where i stepped because i did not want to make a wrong step and injure it anymore in hindsight i should not have gone on this hike because being vulnerable to injury out here was not a good thing on the other hand a lot of people were on this hike so it's not like I was completely alone out in the wilderness. This being a very dry time of year and with the drought that California has been experiencing, there was a lot of smoke or fog in the valley in the early mornings, but it had all pretty much cleared out by noon. You can expect to catch great views on the later part of the days. I said pretty soon I'm gonna start climbing with my hands and knees. made it to a lookout point up here. There's half dome over there. I feel like we're not even halfway. A little further we go. I think it's gonna be a good lot, but getting more exposed on the cliff side. Not among the trees anymore. Oh, here's some water. Oh, here's the fall, bro. Here's the falls. It's gorgeous. Never seen anything like it. I'm getting soaked by how much water is coming down. This hike is a total of 7.2 miles with a 2,700 feet elevation gain. The trail goes to the top of Yosemite Falls, which claims to be the tallest waterfall in North America at 2,425 feet. Now the Vernal Trail that we went on yesterday was much easier than this trail. Now, if you went to the Nevada, if you kept on going, the difficulty level increased, but the area in the part that we went on was much easier than this trail. I'd say this one is definitely twice as hard, but hopefully it's worth it. I mean, it is worth it. Yeah, out here, kind of enjoying the fresh air, just the beauty around this entire valley. It's absolutely breathtaking. I'm really excited to see this falls. This to be the, the tallest falls in North America. I think it's gonna be really cool to see. On this hike, I came across a huge disappointment. Because this trip was last minute, I didn't do a lot of research and after talking to some people well into this hike, I found out there was no water coming from the falls. Now talk about a disappointment. However, I didn't let this deter me and the focus of this mission now became to make it to the top of the falls. That's Angel Falls right there, but it's all dried up right now. I actually just found out about that about five minutes ago from some people that were on the trail. But we're pressing onward.
like this, it's kind of cool. You have these rock overhangs. That sits on the side, alongside the trails. I can give you some shelter or whatever. Look at this view. As you climb higher, you broke away from the tree line and the trailhead came closer to these magnificent cliffs. And looking straight up the cliffs, it gave me a pretty daunting perspective on how small I am. Just look at that incredible view. It's absolutely breathtaking. You have this sheer cliff coming right up above you. are correct we're going up this trail up and over that way up to the top of that way not to, to the top of this cliff here but to the top of over there the top of the falls looks like we're almost there just a little bit more to go a bit more to go right up there There's the bridge down there, and that's where the water flows through that area. And down this way, this is just one of the bridges for the falls. As someone who doesn't regularly hike, this hike really we'll pushed me to, get to my limits. After. And even with a busted knee, I'm really glad I persevered and kept pushing on. Because at the end, there was a moment where you appreciated the accumulation of all the steps you took to get here and I appreciated the beauty of God's nature even more. I am super glad I made the decision to continue to the top despite the lack of water because the view was a very special moment. made it to the top here of Yosemite Falls and the tr views were truly incredible but I have to head back now because I don't have much time left here but I'm gonna go down here to this section where the water flows or where it normally would flow and then I'm gonna head back journey back Hopefully it's not as strenuous as the one coming up, but I just gotta take it a little bit more easy. On my way down, I realized that I did not bring nearly enough water. Even though it wasn't a hot day, make sure to bring plenty of water, especially if you are someone like me who sweats very easily. This could have ended very badly, especially if I was not on such a popular hike because by the end, I was severely dehydrated. the hike. It was brutal and long and I would started getting really thirsty at the end because I didn't bring enough water. But mission accomplished. It is over. <laughs> <laughs>